However, the audio input level should be at 8. We're at 30 seconds. It's me, Donnie. I mean... Nope, got it. This one is chomping at the bell. Okay, guys, let's get ready. 10 seconds. Have fun, you. I need a six-month checkup, please. Six. Five. Okay, fade four, to black. Three. Vader is still Luke's father. I am Cookie Masterson, but my good friends call me Christy Yamaguchi. All by yourself? Yeah, well, wouldn't be the first time. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because the couple that clips together stays together. Okie doke, this is really happening. To begin with, to era is human. Hey, what's going on? The Paleozoic Era, the Cenozoic Era, the Mesozoic Era, or the Proterozoic Era? Not only is this not going on now, but since it was a period of time before much complex life on Earth, nothing much was going on then either. Here's what you meant to pick. The Cenozoic Era is what's been going on geologically for the last 65 million years. Ah, uh, same crap, different epoch. Up next, Menage a Tub. You know that nursery rhyme, Rub-a-Dub-Dub? -dub? What the hell are those three men doing in a tub anyway? Sounds like some sort of strange Cialis commercial. Suppose the three men in a tub are floating along in the ocean when they hit a giant iceberg. If their survival rate is the same as the people on the Titanic, who will survive? The butcher, the butcher and the baker, the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker, or they'll all die. No, but if this were true, perhaps Jack and Rose would still be together today. Well, not today, they'd be dead anyway by now. But at least for a while they could have stayed alive and had kids or something. <laughs> this would have worked. On the Titanic, about 1,500 people died and just over 700 people survived. So roughly one in three people survived, like the butcher. Just his luck. The butcher survives and all he has to eat is fish. And on its way, a profound tweet. Because he famously penned the line, brevity is the soul of wit, which author would probably be a fan of Twitter? At Oscar underscore Wild E, at Yogi Berra 8, at the underscore real underscore Twain, or at Shake Dollar Sign Peer? <laughs> 140 no's. <laughs> Next time, try this. Shakespeare wrote, Brevity is the soul of wit for Polonius during the second act of Hamlet. Or as Hamlet is called in tweet speak, Ham. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Say hello to getting shot with a t-shirt gun. If the mascot for the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team would he taunt with vicious finger snaps? The Houston Rockets, the New York Jets, the LA Clippers. It was begging to be picked. The Jets are the rivals to the Sharks in West Side Story. So while it would be weird for a hockey mascot to taunt a football mascot, you can't always predict hate. But for the sake of innocent civilians, hopefully the mindless violence wouldn't escalate to drive-by dancings. You just clipped yourself. But you know what can clip yourself and a significant other? A tandem toenail clipper, just like the one you won from Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because you can't spell cuticle without cute. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Enjoy. Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Here's one I like to call, Close the door, I'm undressing. And hey, it's a diss or dat. I'm gonna read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me whether it's the name of a brand of ranch salad dressing or 
the name of a legal brothel in Nevada. If it's a ranch dressing, press the square button. If it's a Nevada brothel, press your circle button. For each one you get right, I'll be pouring on 300 big ones. Get one wrong and I'll strip you of 300. And since you don't seem to be wearing a watch, here, the quicker you answer, the more cash you get in your end. Uh, the end. Alrighty then, here it comes. Hidden Valley Ranch, Cherry Patch Ranch, Moonlight Bunny Ranch, Wishbone Ranch, Chicken Ranch, Annie's Naturals Cowgirl Ranch, Marie's Creamy Ranch. Not bad. Next time, try looking at the screen the entire time instead of trying to peek at my croutons. And of course, this goes for both of these categories. If you smell blue cheese, ask for a refund immediately. That's the end of a thrilling first round. And you're in pretty good shape for now. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Now get out there and make me proud. Take a good look at Show Me the Mooney. About how long was Neil Armstrong's historic walk on the moon? As long as it takes to moon someone out your car window. As long as Michael Jackson's moonwalk song, Billie Jean. As long as the Twilight movie, New Moon. Or as long as the 12 hour shift at Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Watch the time. Allow me. Neil Armstrong's walk on the moon was about two and a half hours long, so if you include previews and credits, yeah, it's about that. That is unless you believe the moon landing was also just a cleverly made movie. Question seven. Let's try Comfy in Nautica. How many Snuggies would a giant squid need in order to accommodate all of its appendages? Four Snuggies, five Snuggies, eight Snuggies, or ten Snuggies? Come on, this isn't rocket science. It's, you know, marine biology. Here's what you meant to pick. All squids have eight arms plus two longer tentacles. So with two arm holes each, a squid would need five Snuggies. Of course, I only have two arms, but I have five Snuggies just for variety. Plugging chickens, picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Next up, Arch, your arch enemy. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Okay, it's an order question, which means I'm giving out a thousand dollar bonus to anybody who gets it right. So, put these things in chronological order based on when they first appeared. The St. Louis Arch, the McDonald's Golden Arches, the Archie Comics. Archie Golden Arches Arch, Arch Golden Arches Archie, Golden Arches Arch Archie, or Archie Arch Golden Arches. Way to go, Jughead. The correct answer is... Archie was introduced in 1941, the McDonald's Arches in 1962, and the St. Louis Arch was completed in 1965. And after reading the scathing book on American fast food production, Fast Food Nation, I'll never be able to pick up another Archie comic book, because I realized I hate to read. Here's a good one. Drill, baby, drill. So with all these ecological disasters happening around the world, you'd think folks would be ready to embrace alternative forms of energy. Not so. Which protest sign would you see Don Quixote carrying at an anti-environment rally? Wind turbines can blow me, solar panels aren't very bright, thermal energy leaves me cold, or waves so long to tidal power. Time's almost up. Like wearing a t-shirt over a long sleeve thermal. This is so wrong. No, no, I'll get this. In Cervantes' novel, Don Quixote thinks windmills are evil, ferocious giants. 
I think Don Quixote watches too much Fox News. Hold me, never let me go. This one's called, It's Snowing Dogs and Dogs. Suppose American Idol's Randy Jackson judged an Iditarod competition. If he were judging a team with the maximum allowable number of dogs, what would he say? Yo, you six dogs a killer! Check it, you eight dogs nailed it! You twelve dogs were hot tonight! Or, listen, you sixteen dogs were dope! No! Be smarter! Be smarter! Ah! Now pay attention. A musher is allowed to have up to 16 dogs in the Iditarod. At this point, they might as well just add a team of dogs to American Idol's contestant list. Like our intern Kyle here, who auditioned last season. Hey Kyle, sing something! If I know that I can find love Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. $4,000 for a right answer. 4000 gone if you're wrong. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. Please take off your headgear when you go indoors. Look. That's the game! Well, I promised myself I wouldn't be negative at the end of the game, regardless of the outcome. So, uh, well, you certainly buzzed into questions and you finished the game. Kudos to that. You don't know Jack! That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? And now a message from the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. I'm attorney Edgar J. Penrod. Have you recently been in an auto accident? Have you suffered major injuries? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then chances are you're the person I hit with my car last week. So call the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod today. Because hey, nobody wants to go to court, right? The law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. Sorry, our bad. Great party, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I've got to ask, though, what's with the mysterious box? Oh, that's a mysterious box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. What's in it? Honestly, I've always been a little too afraid to open it, but it makes a wonderful conversation piece. Do you mind if I open it? Well, why not? I've already led a pretty full life. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that's kind of... Yeah! Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. There will come a time when one will be delivered to you. you, 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 you. Monica, I have cherished every day I've spent with you. You are the love of my life. Will you marry me? Oh, Charles, of course. And what a unique ring. 
Is that a... Gallstone? Yes, it's mine. I wanted to give you something symbolic of my love for you, so I had the hardened excess bile that my gallbladder produced forged into your ring. How romantic. It's perfect. And you're perfect. I would have had a lot of gall to say no. On the contrary, love. On the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, that gallstone was one of the most painful things I've ever experienced. The You've Got Gall Gallstone Jewelers, when giving her a piece of your heart, isn't enough. Mm. 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 Ow! What's wrong, baby? Your bee beard. It's too unruly. I don't love you anymore. No! What do I do? Biz, get a buzzkill beard trimmer, bozo. Huh? Biz, get the buzzkill beard trimmer and shave or trim your bee beard for the utmost comfort for you and your lady. You can have bee mutton chops, a bee handlebar mustache, or a bee soul patch. Hey, your bee beard looks great. I love you again. Thanks, buzzkill. Who makes you look sharp without the sting? Buzz does. Also available, Hive Diver Bikini Wax. Your child is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for them. You didn't make the squad, kid. You throw like a girl. It's not you, Eric. It's me. You're fired. But for now, you can still protect him with the no-surprise Jack in the Box. Hey there, excuse me, uh, but I'm gonna pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised, on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company, because there are enough surprises in the world. Because nine months is just too long to wait for a hug. <laughs> 